Yes, thank you, Madam Deputy Chair. Uh, I, I rise to speak in support of it. I have to say it's probably one of the most sensible things that I've heard in the last 24 hours, that this go off to committee. I've been listening very closely to things that have been said, and I appreciate them going on, on the record because they'll come back to haunt you. And for all the concern about how long this has taken, I'd just say that I think uh, if government was so confident of its right to introduce this legislation and the commitment it made during the election, you wouldn't be rushing it through. Oh. You would have done a proper process. It wouldn't have come up from downstairs yesterday and be rushed through. There's no confidence that you're doing the right thing. This is another, another disrespectful act against the community. And for my community of the North Coast, who very proudly has a protest tradition and has been proven right over and over and over again, You've lost it with them because they will never, ever trust you for doing this. And when it's proven that you've misrepresented and you've put on the record misinformation about your intent and the powers that are contained in this bill, your name will be shame on the North Coast. That is what will happen. And for anyone who thinks they can move to the North Coast and live there and have some credibility in that community, which is a protest community, because we stand up for what we believe in, because we live in a community, in a rural area, and our integrity is worth something. We stand up. I am not. Oh, you feel threatened. No, I don't feel threatened. But Getting you are. I am not threatening anyone. Order, 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 order. Point of order. Members will resume their seat while there's a point of order being taken. The, the honourable Penny is sharp on a point of order. He's to interject on the speakers, and he knows it's disorderly, and he should not be doing it. I ask you to call him to order. Uh, there are a number of That's order. Heartfelt. That's heartfelt. Order. The honourable Walt Seckord. There is uh, a number of interjections across the chamber, and I also remind the uh, the speaker to make her remarks through the chair, um, and that. Uh, engaging in any form of debate across the chamber is disorderly at all times. Uh, Ms Jan Barham. My apologies for my inexperience in the House and I certainly meant no disrespect. I was being honest. I'm a North Coast member. I've lived in that community and I'm so proud of my community because it stands up for what it believes in. And the fact that this legislation is being put forward, misrepresented, very deceptively making out like you're doing something that you made a commitment for and you, you're doing this to my community. <coughs> and I went to the Department of Planning today and picked up the, the North Coast plan with its, you know, hidden agenda about CSG after promises were made on the North Coast about no CSG and protecting the environment and any other sort of words that you try and seduce people with. We're not fools. We are passionate and we will stand up and we will protect what's precious because it's obvious that government no longer does. But we do and doing this to our community is a shocking thing. And I will stand here and I will, I will speak for my community and I'll say that we will never forgive you for doing this if anyone gets arrested for, their, for, for standing there to defend the future, to defend what's precious, because we know what's precious. We live there. We belong to that country. We respect traditional owners. We respect the old growth forest. That's why we live there and that's why we can live there with integrity. And if this legislation is ever used against my community, you will see the horror of me and many others against whoever's in government and tries to use this legislation. So let's be smart, send it to a committee and find out what it really does, because I hate to say it, but I don't believe the words that have been said in this place about this legislation. I don't believe the intent is true. And I'm sad about that. But if it was true, it wouldn't have been rushed. And that's why I think what the Honourable Adam Searle has put forward is a very sensible move. And I trust that common sense prevails. I trust that people really respect the fact that people are trusting them to be honourable. <coughs> honourable to the people of New South Wales who entrusted you to care for them, to care for the future. So support this very good amendment. <laughs>